how high it's part 21 I've got to play Minecraft yep I definitely hear a lot of water I'm not sure where it is isn't this going to be fun? Yes, I'm going to it could be right above me and I'm going right past the cave. But I'll probably dig into it either way. I mean, this is exciting, isn't it? So, earlier, my. well, like a few seconds ago. In fact, it might still be right now. Oh! Hell yeah. Hell to the yes. Finally, my comrades, we have found a freaking cave. At long freaking last. And I need to get rid of this water because it's been a fucking pain. Oh, but I realised I brought my sticks down here while I was watching over the last part. And I need to put it back. Don't want to lose my precious sticks, so. Hopefully it's daytime. I definitely want to investigate that cave at last. I'm not sure if it's a 1.8 chunk or not. I was hoping it might be a ravine or a um, abandoned mine shaft to confirm it because look how freaking far this mine goes. So I would not at all be surprised. I think it's probably not. Because it that isn't that long a walk. It might seem longer because of there not being much on the walk. I should probably light up this place. But yeah, my body was in one of those times where it was like, I couldn't decide if it was too hot or too cold. Which is very frustrating. Oh, and just a little while ago as well. Oh, yay, more fully grown crops. The next door neighbours were that being very rugged wheat more I keep on double clicking when I click, it's, why is my mouse doing this, but yeah, they were, um, being quite noisy, shouting, talking, uh, wait, I think that's my volume took the way up, yeah, that would be way up, I should have it quiet on Minecraft, because, um, Paul is a bitch, but, um, yeah, so I was hoping you better not do that during the let's play, and conveniently stopped. And a few hours ago, I was considering starting filming, or recording, but then the douchebag in there was playing loud freaking music. This is not things you do, how dare you? No people should do that if they have neighbours. Yes, PSA and let's play. Yeah, I saw that done before, and um, what the fuck was his name? Uh, I don't know, the guy who ended up saying gay a million times in his Apescape 3 let's play. Yeah, that really lame guy. Uh, what was his name? I can't remember it now. But, um, I mean, I do have videos of, like, kind of like riff tracks of parts of his Apescape 2 let's play, but I can't remember his name. Uh, it's, like, on the tip of my tongue, but I'll okay, go, I think it's stayed on good. But, yeah, um, he did like a PSA thing about shopping carts or something, which I didn't know what I felt about since I wasn't interested in the subject at all. But wait, I didn't plant any seeds, did I? Oh, for goodness sake. Whatever, I, I need to do this. But do I have any dirt? Yeah, I have plenty. Uh, I think I know how they're getting into my house now, because I remembered thinking, wait, didn't a creeper like blow up part of my house like over here before? So I think they're actually spawning from underneath. Yeah, there, there is your problem. Well, my problem. Wait, is that really enough space? Oh, yeah, that space right there, that, that's where they're freaking spawning. That is the offending item. This little space here, they were spawning there, jumping up and being able to get to me. I think. Or were they? Hmm. You know, I think we're going to clear out this entire space. But, hmm. Um, nah, I don't think monsters will spawn. It's still early in the day. Yeah, so I don't need to extend my house or whatever. It's just out this way. More space. 
Now I'm just going to clear out this whole space in my house so that I can fill it in again just so I know if there are any holes or anything Isn't this a strange occurrence? Okay So none this way quite often in this place, instead of going right to the cool thing, uh, the people end up um, delaying it because they want to do some other thing. And um, yeah, I can remember, after using the sample, the lame guy who ended up saying gay a million times, he uh, delayed going to Spectreland because uh, he wanted to go back to other levels and reflect monkeys. But it has to be done sometimes, except it didn't for him. He just, well, I guess, just didn't want to do too much monkey reflection near the end. What? Well, I think it's getting dark, I can't tell, it's because of the fog. Yeah, this is a bane in my life. I really want a decent freaking computer so that I can uh, not have so much sh shitty lag if I end up putting the render distance on anything decent. I could potentially decrease it if I do like a really simple texture pack, but they all look crap, so. I can find me a good text back that is less than 16 times 16 I might consider it but I imagine it would probably be hard to find something like that now I'm not, like, I was thinking you know I should probably research how to make a clock before I do this part of Let's Play but I'm forgetting because a clock is something I could really use or a watch yeah is it a clock or what I think it's a clock, a clock. Seeing. It seems that there was only one space they could spawn. I mean, they can't spawn here. Okay, I just ended up taking out one of my steps. Like a bounce. The true bounce. I'm sure it's still daytime, but sure there's quite a while left. But I'm not sure how far into the day it was. Yes, yeah, so I'm not forgetting how to make a clock. I think it's like something like gold all around the edges, and then um, and then um, indeed, and then uh, a piece of redstone in the centre. But I'm not sure. I don't know. I might test it. Depends on how much I end up being able to do in this part. Uh, what part of the stair is this? Uh, I too much. Okay, um... Okay. Well, you know, yeah, I think it, I think it's not too dark down there. I think it's not dark at all down there, so... I'm not sure how exactly it's spawning. Because there's only like one space where they could spawn, and that's not beneath the bed. But maybe I'm just not thinking about this enough. Okay, uh, do I just go through there? Man, I'm unprofessional. Come on. Okay, that's just into the mine. I think out this way is um past the wall, so... Oh, I might as well test it anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about the exact location of everything in my house, so... Oh! Well, it was worth going down here. 
believe that's iron. Because there it has gold, but I don't think gold is. I think gold's a bit deeper than this. I mean, iron has more uses, but I do want to make a cut right now. I'm pretty sure I have enough gold though. I'm not sure how much gold I have, but I'm quite sure it's quite a bit. I really need to eat. Watch a monster just come down that hole after me. Hmm. I thought there was like a big space above me somehow, and that I hadn't gone down there because I'm an idiot. That makes sense. Why do I dig out that much? Oh well. Alright, my shovel just broke. Why do I have to replace it? A stone one. Brilliant. What? Which I just dropped. Like a bouse. Okay. I need to stop saying like a bouse. There's too many people say it. I mean, it's a good song, but it's just end up being used to death. And this is surprising me because that's a, I'm not sure how old the song is, but I'm pretty sure it's quite a few years old now, so you'd think people would stop saying it. Not that age makes a song bad or anything, but usually people don't go crazy about old songs. Then again, um, I forgot how old it is, but I think the, it's about six years old, the uh, Chuck Norris meme, so there you go, people can be very... But man, it's dark. Oh, it's grass, so... Pretty sure it should be darker than this. But, Minecraft isn't particularly realistic. So something I thought of is, is it harder than ever to for me to watch your Minecraft Let's Play these days? I mean, what I'm talking about is talking if I was watching an up-to-date one, because I imagine so many people go on about oh, for fuck's sake, I'm out of them. No, wait, I'm not. So many people use a pre-release that I'm wondering um, would most Let's Players also use pre-release? Because I don't want to look at too much from the pre-release. Like. I look on the wiki and stuff, but I don't look at any video footage or anything. Because mostly I want to first experience it when I'm actually playing it. And I want to wait until 1.9 where it has the most content, so it'll leave the biggest impact. But I imagine most Let's Players would end up playing the pre release. So, okay, it's still daytime good. I know I'm being quite paranoid about this, but to be honest, this game screwed me over so many times. I was expecting it to troll me over a few night time for a creep to come down the hole and blow my shizzle up. Which would include my house. Alright, so, um, I think it's past my house, or is it? Oh, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Where are we? Okay, okay, so this is the last bit. Okay, good. So, I don't know if this will fix anything, I guess I'll test it. I mean, might as well. Helps them heal anyway. So I'm pretty sure I don't have to build out and that I've amazingly solved this problem now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I guess I'll have to use cobblestone. Now, I'd rather have a lot of cobblestone because it's quite useful for making good structures. But... You know, no huge loss. Oh, for goodness sake, are you kidding me? It was daytime just a while ago. This game is just screwing me over. Well, before I attempt to sleep, I'm gonna have to do a lot of shizzle. Okay, so, okay, got a lot of gold. That's definitely enough gold. Got some iron. I'm gonna start smelting that. Okay. Cobblestone, get in there, or don't. Get in there, cobblestone. Alright, need to go plant some seeds for definite. Oh, I just hope this solves the problem. I don't, I don't see how it would since they're not within two blocks, but who knows, maybe we'll go with the least logical option and make that work. 
This game is just illogically screwing me over at this point. It, it doesn't even have to make sense anymore, just as long as it screws me over. What the fuck is that? So, I am actually close to a cave, but... I don't really want to dig around my farm because I don't want monsters trying to my corpse. Corpse? Crops. Foreshadowing. Oh no, I end up dying. Spoilers. Man, I see a lot of death once I actually start getting into caves and stuff. Because at the moment, I've only fought monsters outside. And obviously, um... Unless I'm deliberately screwing around. Most of the time I end up running away so they're not able to do much. Like, a lot of times I just end up exploring and stuff, so, um... It's not that surprising that I end up dying. But I uh, see once I get into that cave and start finding monsters, I'm going to die a lot of times. So there'll be lots of rage, lots of fail. I mean, uh, even in the Never, that was like my real first encounter of monsters, which wasn't just fucking about. And I got my shizzle ruined. Right, uh, something else I kind of wonder about is, um... How much information about the video should I give away in the title and the description? If I don't give enough, then it's like, me and a video, can I be bothered watching it? Should I be that excited to watch it? But if I give away too much, it's like, wow, thanks for the spoiler, jackass. Look, I've seen that done before, where they basically tell you everything that happens in the video in the description, so I end up avoiding it. But sometimes, I, just, I can't think of any examples, but the actual title would just completely ruin it. But on the other hand... I have revealed things like the first video I just flat out called Enderman. But it's like I was looking for Enderman, so isn't it gonna happen? At least I think I was looking for Enderman. Man, I'm just all going on this one. Okay, flint in there, redstone, okay don't. What's that? Neverack. Oh yeah, of course. Um oh, I need to make some bread. Okay, four pieces of bread. Lovely. Get in there. Um, right, so, let's put this redstone back. One iron ingot? Seriously. i got to have more iron than that. Oh yeah, this is in furnace. I am a genius. Okay, so, redstone in there, gravel in there. Awesome. You know, what? why do I have this? Okay, that's better. Um... You don't double click on me. Okay, um... How many times do I say okay? I say it a lot. Let me see. Um... Yeah. Iron. I need to make myself an iron pickaxe because stone pickaxes aren't very good. I mean, look, that's almost broken. So... Why am I taking down that much? I don't need... Do I need anything else? I'm um, like... Nah, I don't really need anything else that's iron. So, why do I take out so much? Alright, so sticks, 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 there they are. Okay. Now for this I think I'll try to make a watch. Or a clock, I'm not sure which it is. Okay. Get in there, shovel, stone shovel, you useless bastard. Well, not useless, but very, very, very much not as good as your iron counterpart. I get gold, redstone. I mean, I'm not sure, but I might as well try it if I have an idea that this is what it is. Like, I think it's maybe all around, or maybe it's just four of them, but I'm not sure. But I don't want your gold pants, because they're not very good. But you can make some good stuff with redstone. So, not redstone, gold. So I want to save it for that. Oh, yeah, good. Ah, stop fucking double-clicking! Yeah, just as I thought. Clock. Now, I have changed the texture for this. I'm not sure if that's going to mess it up, because I do have MC patch yesterday. So hopefully, I'll be able to see what time it is. Now, the only problem is it fills up space in my hotbar, but... Yeah. I've screwed myself over. I can't tell what time it is. Or can I? Do, is this meant to mean something? No, I'm pretty sure this means nothing. Okay, um, I have screwed myself over by 
making my clock blue. I, I, I can't tell what this means. Thank you myself, thank you. Rawr. I'm an idiot. Then again, I was just experimenting, but maybe I should have looked up a bit more. Oh, whatever. Okay, I'll save that for when I get the texture back to normal. Um. Alright, sticks get back in there. Redstone get back in there. Or don't. Or don't. Whatever you want, redstone. Um, okay. Well, back to the cave then. Now, what's bread fill again? Is it two, two and a half, three? I forgot. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's two. But I'm not sure. So, that's how professional I am, people. You should know by now. I'm just the master of Minecraft. Simple as that. switch to something that isn't a tool when I'm breaking these because it's just really frustrates me when I'm watching a Minecraft video and then you're breaking something with a tool when the tool's not designed for breaking it so that ends up wearing down the tool more than it would. And I think it digs its oil as well. So I'm just like, why, why would you do that? I mean it's not a huge deal but it's just that it's so unnecessary, why would they do that? Just because they can't be bothered switching tools. Okay, well, it's probably going to grow more wheat if I go and make new stuff, so, whatever. Yeah, it's actually more effective to get a farm with bread than it is to slaughter animals for your food, which is good, very good. But I wish that you could get, like, um, leather without having to kill cows. I don't want to have to kill any animals. It's like one of my few things I don't like about Minecraft is the fact that sometimes you got to kill animals, and I don't I hate that. I mean, I've said before that I hated um, Tomb Raider, the first one, just because um, you had to kill wolves. Now I say that, then I play Minecraft. I'm a hypocrite, aren't I? Then again. Minecraft is a much better concept than Tomb Raider seems to be. I mean, I've never tried Tomb Raider, but sure. Yeah, I've, I hate some of the new controls on 1.8. Like sprinting, it shouldn't be double pressing the forward button, because often I unintentionally sprint, or I end up, um... What am I trying to say? I end up trying to sprint, but not being able to, because uh, it thinks I'm just walking forward. I think I should light this up. I mean, just in case. I mean, nothing spawned, but it could, maybe? I don't know. Why am I doing that? I think I was just checking, turning around, and I was still walking that way, so, you know, yeah, lovely. Okay, so finally we find a proper fucking cave, and I need to stop that water. No! Wait, do I have any blocks on me? Oh, this is really fucking hard to get past. Ah! Alright, just grab a piece of cobblestone. We just need one. See those more kind of fun. There. Actually, no, don't go into that. There we go. Thank fuck for that. Right. Um. Oh, still water. Damn it. Okay, I need to get rid of this lava. Just place a block there. Yeah. But I could make obsidian, then again, I don't need that much. And it takes forever to mine. I think I'll just grab another block. If there'd been lava behind that, that would have been hilarious. I should eat. Okay, three. More than I thought. I'm pretty sure it was two or two and a half. That's what I'm making three. not much space here but something could potentially spawn so and if you're getting rid of lava always place torches around where the lava was because the place is bright because of the lava of course and once you get rid of lava obviously your light's going to go away seems simple but 
I've got it before. So maybe we'll all go over here, but even though I'm gonna win. Wait, it's not gone? Oh, I hate when the log does this to me, whatever. That's flying water, it should have all been obsidian. This is BS. I think I need a few more torches because it's looking pretty dark. Hell, that doesn't make any obsidian. How the fuck? Isn't it when flying water hits a lava source block? I'm just pretty sure that's a source block. Whatever. War and lava confuses me sometimes. Okay, so I believe this is redstone. Yeah, some of this was a pain to recolor because the recolor tool would end up going onto the other blocks because my aim was terrible. Oh, and that reminds me, something that bugs me that I just want to bring up is damn it. I was readjusting the lead of my mouse because I really don't want it to end up bending and breaking like the other one did. So I'm more paranoid about that. But it annoys me when people um, act like the only image editing software in the world is. And adjusting fingers while holding that, not a good idea, is MS Paint. They all say, oh, you can edit it with MS Paint, or, oh, you can just draw it with MS Paint. Seriously, guys, do you really think that's the only fucking drawing and image editing software in the whole fucking world? Just say image editing software, or drawing software, because it's more than just freaking shitty-ass paint. Paint sucks. I mean, hell, if you're going to be all discriminating about it, at least do something that's at least decent, like GIMP or Paint.net or fucking Draw Plus or anything that isn't fucking MS Paint. Just say image editing software or drawing software. Don't say fucking MS Paint. Or just say graphic software. Anything would be better than fucking saying MS Paint. <laughs> that's obviously the only drawing software in the world. Where's that water? Is it already gone? I don't know. Okay, so this isn't a place where monsters can really spawn. I'm pretty sure I've done it, yeah. I'm wondering why I have it on easy, it's because I'm unskilled, simple as that. And I believe, um, Monster Hunger goes down a lot. It goes to 5 now, instead of 1. Which is odd, because I remember, I think that was when I had it on normal. Okay, so lava there, very good. But definitely, lava diamond there. Which I'm coming I'm across quite a bit of diamond. But I think it's easier to find in caves because it's easier to get around. But still, I'm coming across quite a bit of it. For someone who hasn't found them in caves. I think. You definitely need to light up this area if there's lots of lava around. Because it's going to be getting a lot darker. Whoa, it looks like huge space. So I'm thinking it might be 1.8 chance because the caves are a lot bigger in 1.8 whereas there are a lot of ones that aren't that big in the previous versions I remember something was going, oh is that really all there is to this cave? whereas in 1.8 it's like, whoa this cave just keeps on going, I'm getting lost like usually when you get lost it's because um oh wait, I think I'm coming towards the end of it oh shit, there are multiple branches usually when you get lost it's because you've made all these branches in your mind but now it's just the cave's so freaking big. But I think I like it better this way, it's more of a challenge. Good grief. I'm surprised I haven't found any freaking monsters. I might be jinxing myself. I want to light this area up before I start mining. Because monsters would want to recommend shizzle. Hey, get up there! Oh, this is irritating. Oh shit. That's a creepy sound. Again, just paranoid of the torch placement now. I'm just waiting for a monster to pop out. Just waiting for the dreaded sound. But I won't be surprised if it's the spider sounds that sound the scariest. Man, things are finally getting interesting. The most interesting thing you can do in Minecraft is just a good old fashioned finding of caves. And that's what this has severely lacked so far. Just finding caves, battling monsters, finding cool 
And it's the end. No freaking monsters. While I was dreading finding monsters, this is also anticlimactic. Well, at least I didn't end the part before to leave you all saying, Oh, will he find monsters? And then just, oh no, he won't. I actually showed you that there weren't any. So, this is the most boring end to a video ever, just because it was so freaking anticlimactic. Join us next time where we will be playing cricket and, um, let's see what else is boring. Um, I can't think of anything more boring than that, to be honest. So, yeah, see you then. Oh, we'll be watching Emmerdale as well. Man, all the things I say are all British. I'm all British, and I thought.